First move here, one, two, three, four, five. The next move here, the application is come in with the elbow, put the elbow on the ribs, make a fist. Now you have to punch your opponent's chin. It's an uppercut with this fist, you cannot move it. You have to use your foot, your knee, and your claw to throw it like this. So that's the move. From here, in, 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 until you can use it. You see, in the end, my body is here. This is the 90 degree, okay? I come here. When I come here, I have to turn my hand. Can you see my hand is right on? The extension is right on that dot. We always either we are here or it's a turn. Now we are here. We're never there. And your foot will not move anymore, okay? It will have this move, but that's only momentum. You load up here, load up here. This elbow is locked onto the hip and only learn to throw this hip. And in the end, that's so much, your foot goes with it. You try to lock here and lock your knee and go like this. The initial move is, this is uh, Edward. You went like this, but your back, turn, your lower back turned the wrong way. You have to arch it. Now you can't even, you can't even, that pull here without your head, immediately you lose balance. That's the same as pulling a bow and arrow. It's very, very difficult. But if the bow is made correctly, it's very easy to pull. If you just try to hold the two ends and try to pull, you can never coordinate the power. So imagine that rubber cord. So if you have people around, you try this, you see how difficult it is. And you understand what I mean by the Chinese believing in coordination, not how much power. So you hold the rubber cord like this. Ask one person to hold here. One person to hold here, pretending it's a bow. You grab the middle, you try to shoot it. The two people cannot, can never synchronize with you to, to steady it. You're always moving, you can never pull the ball. And it's the same thing on your body. When you are required to lock your knee, lock your head, and pull the elbow and the quad back, we always move. And then this is very easy, but it, there's nothing there. It's, it's, the, it's this move here. At that point here, if you moved, it's all lost. It's right there, no move. This hip here, punctures right through. You are here, the foot does a kick off to make your, quam, your hip move. Once it starts to move, it's the hip move. It's, it's this move. But that initiation comes from the foot giving it a nudge. After the punch here, you go like this, that's it. So now we finished Buddhist Warrior 10 and Palms Motor.